Welcome to this tutorial on Alicad Angular Dimensions. Before dimensioning a drawing, it is a good idea to set up the dimension styles. If you have not already done so, check out our tutorial on dimension styles. To add an angular dimension, go to Dimension, Angular. You will see that there are two options, 3 point and 2 line. We will use both methods to demonstrate how they work. The angular dimension may be drawn using the running, chained and free styles as with linear dimensions. We'll start with the three point method. Select dimension, angular, three point and check the free radio button. The point snap is immediately activated. Indicate the center point of the angle by clicking on it, followed by the first and second points. Two options for the text positions can be seen as you move your mouse. Position the text and click to insert it. We'll now demonstrate the chained method. Check the chained radio button. Indicate the center point, followed by the first point, and then the second point. Position the text as required and click to insert it. Continue to click over the points that require dimensioning. Right click and select cancel. We'll now check the running radio button. Again, indicate the center point, followed by the first point and the second point. Position the text as required and click to insert it. Continue to click over the points that are required to be dimensioned. Right click and select quit to end the function completely. We'll now demonstrate the two lines method. Select dimension, angular, two lines and check the free radio button. Select the first line and the second line. You'll notice that Alicad will dimension between these two lines and you'll have four options available. Position the text where required and click to insert it. Right click and select quit to end the function. The two lined method can also use the running and chain dimension styles. Select the chain dimension style, indicate the first line, followed by the second line, and position the text as required. Indicate any lines that need to be dimensioned to thereafter. Right click and select cancel for now. We'll now check the running radio button. Select the first line, then the second line, indicate the text position, and then select any lines thereafter that need to be dimensioned. Right click and select quit to end the function. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Look out for our next tutorial and visit our website to find out more about Alicad.